Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to be demonstrating the direct path method uh, to recording. Uh, we're going to use a dynamic microphone and a condenser microphone, just go through the basic setup uh, as far as um, signal flow, uh, setting up a, mic or a headphone mix, and setting up some effects to the track. Alright, here we have two microphones set up. On the right, we have our, for our first track is the blue baby bottle condenser mic, which requires 48 volts of phantom power. And on the left, we have the Shure SM57. Uh, it's a dynamic microphone and does not require phantom power. We're going to be using that to record our drum track and the condenser mic to record our bass line. Here we have our mic cables uh, going into the snake that goes over to the control room. Uh, the blue condenser microphone is in uh, track one and the dynamic microphone, the Shure SM57, is in track two. All right, today we're working on the Top Series ATV uh, 24 channel console, uh, but today we're only using channels one and two. Um, first thing we need to do is zero everything out. As you can see, we got the preamp down, the all EQ's fine, the aux sends, which are for the headphones and uh, effects, are all down. We got the monitor level down, the input fader down, master down. And the monitor level down, we're all zero. Down. Okay, so we've got um, a CD playing. The CD's got um, a bass track and a drum track. Uh, the bass track, we've isolated that now uh, into our uh, condenser mic, which is going to be ranked up to our channel one. All right, so for channel one, since it's a uh, condenser microphone, we need to turn on the 48 volts of phantom power. So we need to turn that on. And then next, we need to get our uh, preamp gain up, we already have that up. And then next we need to go down to our input fader, put it all the way up. Next, come over to the here, make sure we got signal coming through, which we do. And we need to come back, turn up the monitor level. And then come over here. My level's already up, and we need to turn up the master, and we got signal. Alright, so now that we have signal going through channel 1, uh, let's set up some headphones. Uh, we're going to go through the pre-auxiliary sends to get the headphones, and we're going to use aux 5 and 6, and turn those up so we about equal. And then come over to the auxiliary masters, turn up five and six, and we should have sound coming through our headphones. All right, so to prove that we got sound coming through our headphones, we're gonna go to the board here um, to our monitor level, crank that all the way down while we still have our master up, and. Our headphones, by the way. All right, so now that we've got uh, signal coming through our monitors and our headphones, um, we're gonna add a little bit of effects. Uh, right now, uh, we've got this Lexicon rack mounted effects module. Um, it is patched into our Aux 3 sends. So I've already just kind of picked um, just a random um, effect there uh, just for demonstration here. So what we're going to do is add some gain to our uh, aux 3 send and come over here on our master aux, crank that up and come down to effects 1. And there we go. Now the sound has got a cool little phaser effect to it. That's dry but no effect. With effect. Alright, so as you can see, we got our track one going pretty good. So we're going to arm uh, track two in the multi track recorder. We're going to go over here. Add some gain to the preamp. You can hear a little bleed over from our other microphone since we do have them so close together over there. Um, which is 
isn't ideal, but for this purpose it'll be okay. So we're gonna raise our input fader. Come over here, our monitor level. Give that a little juice. Obviously it's a lot quieter than the uh, condenser microphone because it's not as sensitive, but we do have sound. We can just crank our preamp up a little bit more. Still not clipping, so the signal's good. Phones. Five and six. You can hear here. We do have both tracks running in our headphone mix now. To add a little bit of a, the same effect as we did to the bass line, we just tap in here, crank our aux three cents, add that effect to both. actually doing our tracking and setting up our levels as far as for recording. Um, we want to have everything at unity gain. What's that mean? It means basically we want to have everything as close to zero um, as possible. And that's the direct path method to recording. 